coming off a 47-10 game. Jalen Brunson setting a new franchise playoff record for the New York Knicks, puts the team on his back, takes him to a 3-1 advantage over the Philadelphia 76ers, who we all, or most of the world, had winning this particular series. Jalen Brunson showed you that he's a dog, pure dog. Listen, if you're new to the channel, it's your boy PK. This is PK Talks NBA. Let's get into it real quick. In the moment where you thought, if Philly was going to even it up, grind it out, things of that nature. <laughs> Jalen Brunson said, hold my beer. Goes in and sets a new playoff franchise record for the organization. By the way, this was somebody who even Stephen A. had said wasn't a superstar. No, Stephen A., this is a superstar. Walk it back. Now, I know he's already walked it back before. But realistically, put some respect on the boy's name. I mean, best one of the best point guards in the league. If not, well, I'm not going to say if not the best. But right now, proving that, hey, that hundred million that they gave him, that some people were sitting there turning their nose up at, was money well spent. And I tell you what, realistically, it's probably the steal of the entire NBA. That contract is probably, I mean, realistically, the production he's put out, he's probably underpaid for what he's given the New York Knicks. And Knicks fans should absolutely be enthralled with it. Like realistically, if you are not appreciating the work, the body of work, the play that Jalen Brunson is putting out there, you don't like basketball. For what he's doing, the matchups that he's had, I mean, realistically, I saw him put uh, Tobias Harris in a blender a couple times, even in the post. It's like you do realize that Tobias Harris is way taller than Jalen Brunson. Like, y'all do realize that, right? Uh, the buckets that he was able to get even over and beat a couple times, the man is a beast. And realistically, even if New York doesn't go on to uh, – I'm not going to say they're going to make a conference final, but let's just say if they if this is the, the highlight of their season, great. Like, you got more than your money's worth. Like, realistically, the type of play, the type of excitement that New York is now having, I mean, realistically, this team, the grit, the grind that they have with him leading it, they have they have conference finals potential. I don't think that they would beat the Celtics, who I have in the conference finals, but realistically, with Jalen Brunson doing what he's doing, there's nobody that's can, that can check him realistically in the East. So realistically, if he can continue, the Knicks will go as far as he can take them at this point. And this is only going to get better. Like realistically, if you really think about it, Randall would have absolutely made this series a whole lot different for the for the uh, for the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers and for the New York Knicks. Like the the addition of him to this, what they're putting out there right now. I don't know. Like, that's a, that's a tough team. That's a tough team. They're gelling at the right time. They're coming together. It would only get better. I, I realistically think that the New York Knicks are not only back. They're not only, the, I mean, clearly the best team in New York, right? But they're not only back, back on the map. They really do have the pieces around them if they can get an extra season and healthy people. This Just health being the biggest thing. This team can go pretty far. I do like this team as they're constructed with Jalen playing the way he's doing. Even when I saw him in Randall play, I like the way that they have things going. I like the way that they're trending. I really think New York is going to be a force to be reckoned with. And the only thing that's going to hinder them this season is the simple fact that they don't have Randall. I, if they had Randall in the way that they were clicking, if we had a chance to see that gel a little bit more, I honestly think that I would have them as my particular favorite because I'm just not a Boston fan. Say, so, hey, listen. New York, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. We both don't like Boston. The Bulls ain't going nowhere no time soon. <laughs> Let's call it a truce. Shake hands. Because uh, I don't like Boston. And I would love for you all to put them out of their misery real quick. Because, again, I think they should have been one. This is it's That's just me. I would love to see New York, a fully healthy New York, contend against the uh, the Boston Celtics because realistically, that's the only team that's really in the way. I don't have another team in the East that can really compete with them. Maybe a healthy Miami. I doubt it. But it's just good basketball. And at the end of the day, the NBA is in good hands. Adam Silver did a great job with the way he's having parity across the league, the parity that we're seeing now. And the fact that most of the mar major markers are now back on the mat. Miami is still relevant despite the fact that they don't necessarily have a superstar. New York is now relevant. Jay LeBron is coming to his own. I consider him a superstar. I mean, Boston is Boston. It is what it is. Now, Chicago, if we get their act together, everyone's back on the map. And we have good playoff basketball. And when the New York Knicks are good, you got to give it credit. 
I'm not. I'm a. I'm a basketball fan before anything. When the New York Knicks are good, when the Boston Celtics are good, when Miami is good, when Chicago is competitive, you have some of the best basketball you've seen. And so, shout out to the Knicks for handling business, being the underdog in so many people's eyes, coming in, handling business, taking care of it, taking the three-one lead. I don't see LeBron o- o- across. I don't see LeBron walking through those doors. I think this is safe to say the Knicks has this. I I, I can't see Philadelphia winning, you know, three straight. I, it just don't. It's they're not gonna win three before before the Knicks win another one. Shout out to you all. Shout out to Jalen Brunson for being the dog that he is, setting the play, uh, franchise record. And shout out for Coach Tibbs too. I wasn't a big Tibbs fan, especially as listen, you all know what what happened. I wasn't a big Tibbs fan based off of that, but. He seemed to absolutely bounce back, and hit the the way that he's been able to really tap into the the, the teams and the players, and really build an organization, really build the the camaraderie there. Shout out to him as well. New York basketball basketball future looks great. Shout out to you all. See y'all in the next round. Till next time. Peace.